Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetuse.com and this is the first video of our new series which we are starting from today and this series is going to call GTU Explain. So in this particular video series we are going to take questions from you on different technologies and we will try our best to answer your queries and to clear your doubts regarding that particular technology. And today we are going to talk about fast charging and how does fast chargers actually work. And we are also going to tell you whether you can enable fast charging on your existing Android phone. So let's start this video and the first thing which we have got as a question from one of our reader is what does fast charger actually do to your device. So fast charger actually provide you a high amount of current so, so that they can charge the lithium polymer and battery on your smartphone faster. Again most of, most of the smartphones these days come with lithium polymer and battery or lithium and batteries and these batteries can get charged faster if you provide high amount of current. Again, providing high amount of current is not always right because if your phone cannot handle that much high amount of current, firstly it will generate good amount of heat. So the device will become hot in terms of temperature and it will also affect your battery life in the longer run. So you might be able to charge your device with a third party charger which could be a fast charger of some other Android phone and you are using that charger with your Android phone, you can charge your device faster but the device battery will be affected and the device will be heated up much more. So it is all about whether the charger is designed for your smartphone. Most of the companies like Samsung, LG, Sony, what they do is they have a handshaking technology in which the charger actually talk to the device and then once that thing is going on, the charger can give more current to the device if the device need that. So in this particular technology, the chargers are designed with those smartphones which are the, which are being supplied within the package. So the charger which comes within the package of a particular smartphone has been designed to charge that phone faster as compared to any other fast charger which might give you more current. So when we talk about different kind of charger which we have, we have a 2 ampere charger which are available in the market, we have 5 ampere chargers available in the market, we have 1 ampere charger. Most of the phone these days either come with a 1 ampere charger or 1.5 ampere charger and when, when we talk about 1 ampere, 2 ampere or 1.5 ampere, this is the output current. So output current actually is something which gives you a clear idea whether the device will charge faster with that particular charger or it will charge slow with that charger. So if it is like 1 ampere then definitely it is going to charge at moderate speed. If it is like 1.5 to 2 ampere and the output current for these is mentioned on the charges like this. I have two charges. One is from OPPO. This is again based on the quick charging technology. But if we talk about some other third party chargers, for example, we have a 2 ampere charger over there, which is again coming from a different company, which is called Vivo. And you can have different 2 ampere chargers coming from Xiaomi on any other company or even some Chinese chargers which are available in the market. So if you have those chargers right out there in the market and you have bought those chargers, it is something which is not advisable that you should use those chargers with your smartphone because any 2 ampere charger can actually damage the battery, can actually increase the overall amount of heat being generated whenever you charge your smartphone and this will eventually affect your battery life of the smartphone as well as circuit. The circuit might also get damaged. So one thing which I would like to recommend you is that first of all in terms of charging technology you need to use the same charger which comes within the package of that smartphone which you have bought. So the company which have provided the smartphone charger is going to work the most effective way it is going to be most compatible with your smart device. But in case you are using a 2 ampere charger, make sure you keep a check. There are applications uh, like battery monitor widget and some other application with which you can actually uh, check whether the device is being charged at a high speed rate. If you don't see that happening, then you better not use a third party charger. There are some chargers which are there in the market which are again equipped with the Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 technology which is a chipset based technology. If you see that particular thing being mentioned on any fast charger which you buy from the market, then you can use those chargers. But using any 2 ampere charger which is a third party charger and you think that will eventually charge your device faster. It may, but it will eventually affect your battery. Now, if we talk about the low speed charger, for example, the low speed chargers which we have in the market, again, one which comes with Apple iPhone. So Apple iPhone comes with a one ampere charger and there are some other companies which also provide one ampere charger. So most of these one ampere chargers actually give you more than one ampere of current. So they already charge your device faster in case your device support that feature. 
so it is going to be something which your device has to support unless you won't be able to charge it faster second thing i would rather recommend you to use one ampere charger or the charger which comes within the package of your phone because using a high output current charger can actually damage your phone circuitry as well as affect the battery life and it can actually make it eventually much more hot as compared to any other use case scenario set table you might not be able to hold it comfortably so this is something which will happen so three things which you need to uh, note first is use the charger which come within the package whenever you want to buy a third party charger make sure you check the charger and the output current from that charger it should not be more than the default charger output current which you got within the package of the phone in case you are buying a third party charger which is a fast charger in that case you need to find out whether the charger is coming from a right company if it is a chinese charger most probably it is going to damage your device but it is something coming from samsung lg or some other company then it, it will eventually help you to charge your device faster but not a great difference will be there in terms of the charging time third thing which you need to make a note of is that whenever you select any charger to charge your device make sure you monitor the output current so if you can monitor the output current you will be able to know whether that charger is going to provide fast charging on a smartphone if it is providing more than 1 ampere of current then you will eventually know that it will fast charge your device faster but make sure you also check the temperature of the device when you charge the device if the device is becoming hot then definitely that charger is not stable for your smartphone so and these are all the things which i wanted to tell you in this video so that's all from us as far as this video is concerned and the technology which we wanted to talk about which is fast charging and how does fast charging work how whether you should use fast charger with your smartphone in case you have any questions for this video or this technology you can leave your questions in the comment section below this video you can also like this video this video help me by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you